Well, I just survived my very first day of virtual teaching. There were a few bumps along the way, but mostly we did good. We made it through. I accidentally let my last class out early because I looked at the wrong spot on the calendar and I accidentally didn't take attendance in that class, but I know most of them were there, but I didn't mark down who was and wasn't. Oops. But it did go pretty well. The kids were wonderful. They were very helpful. They were very patient. They were engaged. They participated. Good, good, good. That's like a huge weight off my shoulders just having that one day done and having a better idea of what's gonna happen. All right, now on my lunch break, I saw that Styled by Gwenny recently posted a new tag called the This or That Luxury Tag, or did I get that right? The Luxury This or That Tag, and she tagged me in it, and it looked really fun and fast, so I thought, hey, maybe I'll jump on YouTube, take a little break from teacher work, and do this tag. So what it is, I was supposed to do my intro first. Cue the intro. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. So like I was saying, on my lunch break, I saw that Styled by Gwenny posted this tag called the Luxury This or That Tag. It was originally created by Lux Handbag Lover and Styled by Gwenny tagged me. Very special. I feel honored because I love her and her channel. Her channel needs to be a lot bigger. So if you have not been to her channel, she's amazing. She's super duper funny. She's very entertaining to watch, not boring like me. I recently filmed a mean comments video and got another comment about how boring I am. So <sighs> that's all right. Anyway, this tag looked really fun and it looked super quick, which is what I need in my life right now with teaching. I keep picking this up, but I don't need it anymore. So it is 20 questions divided into three luxury fashion houses, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Hermes. For each category, there are, the questions are two items. So like, well, this or that. So you list the two items and you say which one you would pick. And Lux Handbag Lover, when she did hers, her original video, she didn't even say why. I'm probably gonna say why. Sorry if you're hearing a bunch of dings from texts. Um, Yota and Winnie BLV are both texting me like crazy lately, which is nice because you know I like them both, but I just don't have time for this. I don't have time for friends right now, okay guys? So let's get started. I'm gonna be looking over here at my monitor where I have the questions queued up or where I will have them queued up in just a minute here. This first section is on Louis Vuitton. Question one, key clay or six ring key holder? Definitely the key clay. I've never had the Vuitton key holder, but I had a Kate Spade one and I currently have a coach one that I'm using and I don't like it. It's, it's well designed, it's just not well designed for me. So I'm gonna be taking my keys off of it soon. I've had it on there, I've, I've had the keys on there for a few weeks and it's just, it's more trouble than it's worth for me. Definitely the key clay, although I don't use that for keys. Well, I do, but I put keys inside of it I don't use on, on the key ring. But then I also use it for cards and I use it as a bag charm. I think the key clay is much more versatile. Number two, Damier Eben or Damier Azur? Definitely Damier Azur. Uh, a Ben because I love both of them, but a Ben has always been my top canvas pattern choice from Vuitton, at least out of those in the monogram. It is carefree because there's no Vachetta and I like the darker colors and you don't get the possible color transfer that you can get on the Azure. Number three, mini pochette or speedy accessoire, accessoire. Definitely the pochette accessoire, accessoire. Why am I forgetting how to say that? I prefer the new model, but I have the old and the new. They're both fantastic. The new model just has you know, the pocket and the longer strap, but you can add a longer strap to the old model. I like the pochette accessoire more than the mini because I like more spacious bags usually and I've had trouble coming up with ideas to as to what to use my mini for what I need to do is come up with some ideas and then do a video about it like challenge myself to do that but the pochette ox ox accessoire oh my god that's my catch-all in all of my bags I put all my stuff in there and it goes everywhere with me I'm almost never without that when I'm out and about 
Question four, Alma or Speedy? Definitely the Speedy. I've never had an Alma. However, I had a bag that was the same shape as the Alma once and I did not like it. This is Yota again. She just bought another handbag. I helped her get it because it was sold out online and I, I got my sales associate's number at Louis Vuitton. If you need an associate from Louis Vuitton, I will put my associate's number below. She's really good at finding things. Her name is Becca and she's at the Houston Galleria store. The shape of the Alma, how it gets skinnier at, at the top. If I have a bag, I want to be able to fill it. I, I don't want to have a bag that I can only do half full. And if I filled that one, the zipper got all wonky. So that was not my favorite style of bag. Number five, never full or on the go. Can I say both for this? I don't have an on the go. I would really love the black on prot on the go. My brain is broken. I'll tell you what, it is overloaded. So never full or on the go. I love the never full. I have three never fulls. It's a fantastic bag, everyday tote, but I really would love the black on prod on the go, but I am not going to pay over $3,000 for it. And especially like, maybe I'd be willing to if I knew that it was gonna be in style always, but I feel like it's gonna go out of style in the next few years, the big boxy bags, and that's why I wouldn't want to get it. Plus, I really shouldn't have a bag that big and heavy because of my back problems and the weight of, of that leather. I have two bags that are the same size and style as the on the go. I have the Coach Field Tote with the rocket on it. And if that's still available, I can link it below. I'm not sure if they still sell those. And I have an, like an off-brand um, tote that's the same size, but it's like a snake print. It's really pretty. I have video on that somewhere, I think. Oh, I have videos on both of them. Number six, the Petite Mall or the Boit Chapeau? I would say the Boit Chapeau. I have a little dupe from Aldo of the Petite Mall and it holds nothing. I did a video on that. It, I, I'm not sure it even held my phone. Uh, it's just way too small. The Boit Chapeau probably doesn't hold much more, but I saw it on someone recently and it's just so darn cute. Oh, well, they're both really cute. I've, yeah, I'm, I would never get either of those because they wouldn't be practical enough for me, but they're both super cute. And right now I'd go with the Boit Chapeau. Number seven, the Nano Speedy or the Nano Noe. I have the, well, not the Nano Speedy. I have the Mini the mini Speedy, the vintage one. I have a video on that. I have a few videos on that one. Probably seen them. The Nano Noe I've never seen in person. I feel like that wouldn't hold as much as the little Speedy. That thing packs a punch. And the Noe with the drawstring top, it would take up some of the space inside where you wouldn't be able to use the full capacity. But I do love the Noe too. Champagne bag, you know. Can you even fit one bottle of champagne in the Nano Noe? I haven't seen it to know. Could it fit like the bottom of the bottle? Next, we move on to Chanel. Question number eight is caviar or lambskin? I'm not sure. I have a little caviar wallet from Chanel. I, do I have anything in lambskin? I have goat skin, and then I have a little coin purse that I'm not sure is lambskin. Probably is, because it's smooth. I don't know on this one. I would have said caviar a while back because of the durability, but I've gotten to where I'm really interested in the lambskin and would like to try that out. I think it's really pretty. I'm not sure. Can, can I just say I, I don't no, I need more experience with Chanel in order to answer this question. Number nine, chevron or quilting? I think that means diamond quilting because they're both quilting. I like both of them. I am drawn more to the chevron than the diamond quilting, but I do like them both. Number 10, espadrilles or slingbacks? For this one, I have to say neither. I, neither, I'll just leave it at that. 11, the trendy CC or the cocoa handle? I would go with the trendy CC, I believe. Doesn't that have the little metal bar on the top that says Chanel? If I have the trendy CC correct in my head, that's the one. And yes, I like that. Number 12, the Chanel 19 or the Deauville. I've never been a big fan of the Deauville. I think only because they, most of them are fabric and I just think it's insane to pay that much for a canvas bag that's not even coated well or coated much. I just saw a video on the Deauville from A Heated Mess. I'll link it below if I can find it again. 
I'm sure I can. And she was talking about a denim one that she used to have that got wear pretty quickly. Like the dark color came off and you could start to see the piping within a few months. And that's just ridiculous for that price point. So I would definitely go with the Chanel 19, which I fell in love with the first time I saw it and would really love to have one. But again, not willing to pay those prices. Number 13, a boy or a Gabrielle? I'd say the boy, but really neither of those are my favorites. There's something about the boy, probably the chain, that I don't like very much. It's a pretty noisy chain, and it's such a boxy bag, too. I think it's beautiful to look at. I don't think I would enjoy using it. Gabrielle? <laughs> I don't remember where I heard this, or maybe it came from my own head. I don't even remember. But the bottom of it, okay, look at this. Okay, the bottom of the Gabrielle is shaped like this. It looks like a maxi pad. I don't want a bag that every time I see it, it reminds me of a maxi pad. So um, I'll go with the boy on this one. Other than that though, I do like the Gabrielle. The zipper seems like it would be difficult to get in and out of. Other than those two things, I do like the Gabrielle. Uh, number 14, classic flap or reissue. Both beautiful. i definitely more of a reissue girl. I still would love to have one. I was thinking about getting one for my birthday this year. I don't know. I was all gung-ho a year ago about getting one and I just, I don't know, something is preventing me from doing it. I think I love the idea of it, but but I think that in reality, I wouldn't carry it that often. And to spend, I'd get it pre-loved of course, and to spend around 3,000, 3,500 on a bag, it needs to be something I would wear a lot like an everyday bag and I'm not convinced that I would. So I think that's why I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but yeah, definitely prefer the reissue over the classic flap. Classic flap because it's so boxy. It's more structured and the reissue is softer and more pliable. Next section is Hermes, the last six questions. Question 15, the click clack or the click H? I don't even know the difference. I know they're both bracelets. Is the click clack the bigger one? Like one's thinner, one's wider. I don't know. I don't know. I would go with whichever one is thinner, but I don't know the name of it. Number 16, the Oran sandals. I know those with the H on them or the Oasis sandals. I have to look up what the Oasis sandals are. I'm not sure. So just a quick search. The only difference I see is that the Oasis has a heel on it. So I would definitely go with the Oran. I don't wear heels. I'm all about comfort. Number 17, a taupe or gold. That's tough. I would have said gold before, but I've been really into taupe lately. So right now I'd say a taupe, I think. They're, you can't go wrong with either of them. So both, how about that? Number 18, Togo or Epsom? Same thing, I would have said Togo. I got a handbag crave Erin bag recently in Epsom and it's so beautiful and lovely. That makes me like the Epsom. I still like the look though of the Togo, the, the pebbled leather. So I'm gonna go with that, but Epsom is a close second. Oh, and handbag crave told me that my code is still gonna work with them so if you want to order anything there you can try it out it's autumn 10 for 10 percent off at handbagcrave.com try and see i don't know number 19 the evelyn or the picotin i know the evelyn is that little saddle bag and the picotin is that weird little bag that yota just bought a few dupes of from Amazon. Uh, I don't know because I don't think either of them would work well for me. I had a Henry Bendel bag that was similar to the Evelyn. It was the same shape and that shape, the narrowness of it just doesn't work for me. The Picotin I'd be able to fit more stuff in, but I wish it had a shoulder strap. I like that the Evelyn has a shoulder strap and I like the big strap. I like the look of the Evelyn better. I'd really say neither on these, but if I had to pick the Picotin, I don't know. That's hard because I don't want either of them. Number 20, Birkin or Kelly. Um, well, can't go wrong with those either. A year or so ago, I would say Kelly all the way, but I've gotten more into the Birkin style bags lately. But the Birkin is more my jam these days because it's so spacious. So I guess I'd have to go with the Birkin, I suppose. I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube lately. I've only been watching a couple of channels and all of those people have already been tagged in this tag. So I'm not going to tag them again. And I'm not sure who else to tag. So, 
I will say that if you are watching and you are interested in doing this tag, I tag you and you can do it and say that I tagged you and that counts. That was fun. Thank you to Lux Handbag Lover for creating this tag. Thank you to Styled by Gwenny for tagging me. Please make sure you go check out both of their channels. I will have their tag videos linked below for you, as well as my essay at Louis Vuitton and my discount code that I told you about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well. If you have a kid in virtual learning or or face-to-face -face learning these days, any kind of learning school situation. I wish the very best to them and their teachers. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.